Today is only the second day that I've been doing Wombat Rescue. This day I found three Wombats. As soon as I got close I realized that this is a bad case. Apart from very serious injuries, she also had two bullet wounds in her side. The bullet wounds were small caliber, I'm guessing 22, and were festering. I'm rolling her on her back before I'm moving her off the road. This is to protect a Joey in the pouch if she has one. And moving her off the road is to protect me. You will see why in a minute. She didn't have a Joey and from the condition of her pouch she's never had one either. She wasn't fully grown so my best case was that she was a young adult. She had multiple scars on her back which was not mange. This could be either from mating or fighting. The story unfolding before me is of a young female wombat in stressful circumstances being attacked by other wombats or a male trying to mate with her. Apart from this she's also been shot, most probably by a farmer as this is rural New South Wales. She had been walking around with these bullet wounds in her side for weeks before she was run over and killed by a vehicle. Most of the times I mark the animals I find so that people passing know that she's been checked. Ideally I would move her as far away from the road as possible to ensure that predators aren't also hit by cars. On a very remote road that ended just ahead with a farmhouse, I found this beautiful boy. I guess he was an adult male killed a day or two at the most ago. Not a lot of people would travel this particular road, yet the farmer who ran him over didn't bother to stop, check whether he was still alive, had a joey or gave him the dignity of moving him off the road.